In this question, we are given that a school administrator will assign each student in a group of n students to one of m classrooms. So, a group of n students will be assigned to one of m classrooms. We are given a range of 3 less than m less than 13 make less than n. Now, it makes sense to write this, split this inequality and write it as 3 less than m less than 13 and m less than n just to have a clear idea of the range. We need to find if it is possible to assign each of the n students to one of the m classrooms so that each classroom has the same number of students assigned to it. So, first of all, definitely yes or no question. Okay, but let's understand what we need to find before moving on to the statements. So, we need to check if n students can be assigned to one of the m classrooms such that each classroom has the same number of students. Now, this means that we have to check if the value of n over m is an integer or not. Okay, let's understand this with the help of an example. So, if n is equal to 16, keep in mind that n needs to be greater than 13, right? And m equals 4, this also satisfies the range. So, n over m is basically 16 over 4, which is 4. So, this means that each classroom has 4 students and they are divided equally. But what does it mean if it does not have equal number of students? Let's take another scenario. So, n equals 20, m equals 6. Now, when we divide 20 over 6, we get 3, 2 over 6. This means that there are two students left behind and they have to be distributed in either of the classes and which makes the distribution uneven. Okay, so this, using that we can say that this, each classroom does not have the same number of students assigned to it. But if n over m is an integer, we can say that yes, each classroom has the same number of students assigned to it. So, we need to check if n by m is an integer. This is my rephrased question. Now, let's move on to step 2 now that we have a better understanding of what we have to look for in the statements. Statement 1 tells me that it is possible to assign each of 3 n students to one of the m classroom so that each classroom has the same number of students assigned to it. So, this basically means that 3 n over m is an integer. Okay, but do we know can we conclude from this if n by m is an integer or not? Well, let's take a case. Okay, so case 1. Suppose n is equal to 14. Now, n has to be greater than 13, right? Keep, take the numbers, keeping the range in mind. And m is equal to 7, which also lies within the range. Now, in this case, 3n by m is also an integer, as well as n over m is also an integer. So, I can answer the question with a definite yes. Now, what about the other case? Suppose n is equal to 14 and m is equal to 6. So, 3n over m, this will be 3 multiplied by 14 over 6, which is definitely divisible and this is going to be an integer. Right? But, n over m is 14 over 16. This is not an integer. So, using this, I can answer the question with a definite no. Since I am getting two contradictory answers, I will say that statement 1 is not sufficient and out of the given answer choices, I will eliminate answer choice A and B. Moving on to statement 2. Statement 2 tells me that it is possible to assign each of the 13 N students to one of the M classrooms. So, I have 13 N over M. To be an integer. Now, notice guys, this statement tells me that a 3n by m is an integer and keep in mind m has to be less than 13. So, this means that the value, the value of n over m will definitely have to be an integer because m is less than 13 and 13 is a prime number. So, any number less than the prime number will not be divisible by it, right? So, 13 by m is not an integer. So, this means for 13n over m to be an integer, n by m must be an integer. And this is what we had to check. So, we can answer the question with a definite yes and hence the correct answer is option B.